And we're back to part. It's time for part two of Nocturne Toten. Yeah, only two, I know. I had to overlap the two a little because getting an exact kind of makes it hard for me to line up things properly. Makes me laugh that they actually stuck a ray gun in here as one of the weapons. Takes a little while to reload, but it's worth it. Believe me when I say it is worth it. I mean, really. Yeah, that's paranoid me. Now, you don't have to, uh, as some people know already, you don't actually have to face a barrier to rebuild it. I should have covered this sooner. Whatever. Yeah, once I open the root cellar, I pretty much abandon the main hall. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but that's what I've been doing. In single player, that's just too much ground to cover. So yeah, the thing about uh, the single player, you can only take a couple hits. Once you are once you take a couple hits, you're down, that's it, game over. So it's really difficult. It gets difficult fast, rather. That uh, real day. Browning. That's actually the worst of the three big machine guns. But it's still very helpful. Yeah, I got really lucky with the weapon spawns this time around. So anyways, as I was saying, single player, you can only take a couple hits. Same with multiplayer, actually, but in multiplayer, uh, Nocter on Toten, you actually get, uh, when you're brought down, you're actually able to fire at the zombies still with a pistol. For about 30 seconds, kind of like the last kind of like the second chance feat in multiplayer. During this time, anyone can revive you by simply going up to your fallen body and holding down the use key a little. Even if you even if they go the 30 seconds if you go the 30 seconds without being revived, you're out for the round. But if they survive, the other players, then you uh, come back. I forget the complete circumstances of it. If you come back with just the pistol and all your points, or if you lose your points, or what. Losing your points would have to be a real pain. But, yeah. The only problem I have with machine guns like this from the mystery box, they take, they take forever to reload. This is actually why I don't use the machine guns in multiplayer, either. Well, not anymore. Anyway, normally I'd be, a, as far as my multiplayer status, normally I'd be about level 20-something uh, from normal play. However, I happened to find a rather really uh, weird server that had a huge point multiplier. See, that's the thing about getting ahead in multiplayer games nowadays. You have to know your servers. You can't just haunt one server all the time and expect to get anywhere. Yeah, you can tell the zombies are getting closer and closer by the time I actually notice them. Not a good sign, is it? And I use the stairs here because it basically lets me see just about everyone coming at me. I... I don't want to unlock the balcony because that's another en set of entrances I have to uh, guard. Actually, I need to correct something I said in the first part. It's five entrances in the main area, four in the balcony. You can also unlock a stairway between. You can also unlock a separate stairway between the two, but I don't know. It's harder to funnel the zombies to a certain area that way. And 
And there's still not much I can say. I pretty much said all I can about Nocturne on Toten. It's unlocked if, when you beat the game once. Note that I had unlocked this mode within six hours of actually buying the game. And I had to restart missions a lot of times. As I said, they're getting closer and closer all the time. Not when insta-kill is active, however. I can just plink, 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 and they're all dead. Good times. So, yeah. Yeah, by this time, I've just about abandoned all the entrances. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to rebuild them all in time. This is why you keep one gun loaded. <laughs> Come on, be round 10 already so I can explain uh, the problem with a ray gun. Jeez. There we go. See, the problem I have with the ray gun is that it's actually there's actually splash damage associated with it. So if you fire too close, you're screwed. Now, sniper rifles are pretty well useless in this map. Hence me going back into the mystery box again. And I wind up getting another rifle, which... Fine in multiplayer, but it sucks in this mode. And... I just unlocked it. There's the splash damage problem. Well, it's been fun showing off Nocturne and Toten, but that's all for now. Later, people. I'll be back with something different next time.